The A Song of Ice and Fire series, known to many through the HBO adaptation as Game of Thrones, follows a pretty straightforward publication order. It kicks off with A Game of Thrones, the epic beginning that throws you into the sprawling landscape of Westeros, where summers and winters can last for years, and the game for the Iron Throne is more cutthroat than a Black Friday sale at Best Buy. After getting your mind blown by the first book, you move on to A Clash of Kings. Alliances are as stable as a Jenga tower in the hands of a toddler, and the power grabs make the first book look like a polite game of chess. Good luck catching your breath because A Storm of Swords is next, and let me tell you, it rains steel in this one. Betrayals and unexpected twists are around every corner, enough to make your head spin like, well, I won't spoil it for you. Need a palate cleanser? Too bad. A Feast for Crows is next, and the feast is more like leftovers from a particularly brutal Thanksgiving dinner. New characters and deeper insights into the Seven Kingdoms await you, though, so dig in. The latest book, A Behemoth of Detail, is A Dance with Dragons. It runs concurrent with A Feast for Crows for a good chunk, and follows some fan favorites, and some not-so-favorites, as they dance the most dangerous dance in these lands, survival. As of now, we're all holding our collective breath for The Winds of Winter. The penultimate book in the series promises to chill fans to the bone, and given George R.R. R. Martin's love for making readers wait, it's fitting. And lastly, there's A Dream of Spring, the prophesized final book where winter has come and, hopefully, some form of spring will follow for the survivors of this saga. For easy reference, here's the list. 1. A Game of Thrones, 1996. 2. A Clash of Kings, 1998-3. A Storm of Swords, 2004. A Feast for Crows, 2005. 5. A Dance with Dragons, 2011. 6. The Winds of Winter, forthcoming. 7. A Dream of Spring, forthcoming. As someone strolling around Portland, Oregon, amongst the historic ambiance of the Pearl District or the lush greenery of Forest Park, I appreciate good storytelling that transports me to different worlds, much like how these books can carry you away from the drizzly Pacific Northwest to the sun-scorched sands of Dorne or the icy wastes beyond the wall. Happy reading!